Good morning. What I felt to do this morning, before I even got out of bed, and as I meditated and prayed, is to ask for your help. Literally hundreds of you have watched my videos by now. And this is our year. This is our year to awaken. And those of you who have been touched by the message of empowerment, the reminder that you are a child of God, you are a son of God, you are a daughter of God, you have within you an eternal flame that burns. If that has been awakened in you, I ask you to help awaken others. If you will, I ask you to share my videos, the ones that touch you the most. Post them on Facebook. Send, that, send links to your friends. Encourage people to hear the Spirit of God moving through a simple human being who has not been afraid to follow the admonition of the Apostle Paul when he wrote, Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus, who being made in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. And being found in the form of a servant, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. I don't usually quote that part of the scripture. But Jesus also told us that the things that he did, we can do also. And I don't believe that'll ever happen until we do what the Apostle Paul admonished us to do. We have been so afraid to take that mind as our inheritance. We have still seen ourselves somehow as, as inferior. But he admonished us. Again, this is not something foreign to the scriptures. This has been recorded for all time, for all history. Let this mind be in you that was also in all of those who have walked with God, filled with the Holy Spirit as Jesus did. You are just as eternal as Jesus was. You had no beginning and you had no end. This is the message that I'm sharing with you. This is the liberation. This is the freedom. Everything that we're working for, everything that we're co-creating together comes from this understanding that there is no separation. There never has been any separation from God, from God's perspective. The separation has only ever existed within our own minds. And because it existed in our minds and we operated our lives from our minds, then, then we created the experience where we felt like we were separated and we did things that were destructive to ourselves and to each other. We didn't know what love was. So we grasped for love and we tried to cling to it and we smothered it because we did not allow it to be free. And love is like a bird. It must be free. You can't, you can't hold on to the butterfly if you will. And we are the butterfly. We are the caterpillars becoming butterflies again. This is a time of transformation. Share this message with your friends. Make it go viral. One of the writers wrote to me after, after listening to uh, uh, half a dozen or so of my videos. And I don't remember whether it was a he or a she. It doesn't really matter. I think they were from Australia. But this person said, you should have 15 million viewers. Let's wake people up. That's my mission, is to remind you of who you are. It's not to tell you who I am. I'm showing you who I am. But it's to remind you that... That's what you are. And that's what Jesus was trying to do when he was here. He was trying to get his, his disciples to see that they could do what he was doing. 
that they were empowered. But we cannot be empowered as long as we see separation. As long as we see people as somehow outside of God, then that's what we're going to experience. We're going to experience that alienation because we're carrying it with us. We're carrying it with us in our minds and we have not yet opened our hearts enough to let that eternal flame of Christ that's in us burn through us and burn away the scales that are on people's eyes and the scales that are over people's hearts and minds and lives. It's time to remove those scales and step into our power once and for all and be the people of God that we are called to be, that we are empowered to be. This is our day. This is our year. This is our time to shine, shine, shine our lights as we've never shined our lights before. This is our time to step into our freedom, to step into our sovereignty as individuals, as, as families, as communities, as nations. This is our time to let this light become a mighty raging conflagration that burns away all the dross that's been in our world for, for eons of time, millenniums of time. This has been in our human culture. And our human culture has been, has been suppressed because we forgot who we were. This is the time to awaken and to remember and to put on the armor of God, which is not an armor that shields us from something, but it's an armor of love that protects us. We are clothed in the Holy Spirit. Let us ex walk into that newness of our nature. Our nature is not to sin. Our nature is to shine. That is our true nature as God created us. To shine in all of creation. To shine in every aspect of our lives. To shine in our business. To shine in our family. To shine in our, in our community as we interact with others. To shine, shine, shine the light. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And stop focusing on the negative. Is there a devil? If you want there to be, there is. That's how it works, folks. What you look for, you're going to find. If you're looking for the devil, you're going to find the devil. But stop looking for the devil. I'm telling you, I'm imploring you, I'm asking for your help to stop looking for the devil. Let's get this message out that we start having to see. We have to start seeing Christ, the divine spirit, the eternal flame in every human being that we encounter. And it doesn't matter what they have done. There is forgiveness for everybody. Blanket amnesty, if you will, for everybody. We've all gone astray. We, Each one of us have tasted what it's like to feel and experience separation from God in our own consciousness. Now it's time to let that consciousness evaporate. Let it go. Release it. It is a lie. It is the lie that has created the world that we've been living in. And the truth that we are creating the world that we're going to be living in is the truth that we are one. And we have always been one. And only when we see that we are one and not disconnected but, but connected to everyone else can we have the love that is needed to transform the world. I ask you to share this message with your friends. Let it go viral because this is the message of liberation. This is the message that's going to change the world. No, it is the message that's already changing the world. Help me spread it. And I thank you. God bless you. Namaste.